um, for my last question, curious lang po, um, may possibility kaya na ang sa mga susunod na series or yung kasunod ay eh, babae naman na magiging star nung series? Pero ganito yung klase. Like yung by bus, di ba? Sobrang galing ni Ando ng ganun ng pagkakaroon. Pinapa, pinapareveal mo sa akin yung kwan ah. Yung bagong casting namin next year. Ay, ay sorry. Okay. Um, uh, without saying anything about the the new cast, um, I when I first shot on the job, The Missing Eight, uh, way back in 20 2018, no? my first few shoots was in a correctional in a jail in Cavite where mixed yung babae and lalaki. And I was telling Michiko about it na um, maganda idea, yung dynamics, na yung preso mo may babae at may lalaki. Uh, And while I was there shooting, I shot there for three days. So parang, siyempre, kausap ko yung warden, kausap ko yung mga tao doon, chispis, chispis, kwento-kwento. I found out na ang dami na bubuntis uh, from inside kasi in as much as separate yung, yung lugar, uh, ang downtime nila, yung mga lahat ng free time nila, pagkahalubilo sila sa grounds. Diba? It's only na separate sila pag bumalik sila sa mga preso. No? So, we thought, di ba pag gumagawa ka, so, uh, on the job the movie, tungkol siya sa mga preso na nasa syudad. On the job the, the missing aid, nasa probinsya ng mga preso. Anong pinagkaiba? So, ang hitman sa Manila, medyo mas professional, alam ko saan babarilin una. Yung the other one naman, medyo may katangahan. No? Um, we, we want to be conscious that in the next season, we also want to introduce another side to the prisoner. What is it? So maybe, maybe, I'm not saying it is, maybe there might be a woman hitman that comes into season two. Eh, medyo nagpa. Pero di ba maganda po 